Well, right behind us is one of several power transmission towers that fell in the New Orleans area from Ida the other night. You can see pieces of mangled metal bent in different directions. Power lines immediately surrounding it are down, though we should note we are a safe distance away. The energy utility here basically says these transmission lines are interstates for power before eventually getting them to people's homes. Tonight, we got an update from Entergy that says it's got two options to get first lights on in the greater New Orleans area by Wednesday night. The first is to restore certain critical transmission lines that tie the area to the larger grid. The other would be to create what they call an island, isolating New Orleans, and it would operate as a standalone power grid. It would be supplied by two big power stations, one that's not too far from where we're at right now, but they say any power to the region is going to allow the company Entergy to get critical infrastructure up and running again. Think things like hospitals, police departments, fire departments, and nursing homes. So going to be a big lift here to get the lights back on. Reporting in Bridge City outside of New Orleans, Tom Garris, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.